I read 200 books about dating and attraction, and these five books are the only ones you need. If you're a single man looking to attract your ideal relationship, today I'm going to share five books that would be important for you to read, how to make the most of these books, and which book is right for you for your stage of development. Before we get into this list, what I would like for you to know is you want to be reading books for the right reason. If you're the type of guy who's been reading for the past few years and you still haven't left your house, maybe it's better for you to leave your house and go speak to some woman. So these books are for people who are going to put this knowledge into the action. And if you're reading as a way to avoid your actual fears, what you will get the most out of is actually leaving your house and exposing yourself to your fears. But without further ado, I'm going to start with book number one, which I don't have with me right now, but I've read many times over the years, and it's called Models by Mark Manson. The reason I love this book is it gives you a very simplified strategy on how you can go to the right places to meet the right type of woman, how you can have a basic conversation and build abundance in your dating life. The pros of this book is it's very simple, it's very authentic, it doesn't have any sleazy strategies, it's literally about how to build the right beliefs and become an attractive human being while communicating your world. One of the parts that I really like is when it talks about neediness and how if you're out to meet people in the world, there will be people who will be drawn into your life. So it's not about changing who you are, but it's more about approaching enough people, putting yourself in enough situations so that you can meet your tribe. The cons of this book is it gives you the strategy, but it doesn't necessarily address the right mindset you should have to make the most of your dating life. And a lot of the problems men face in their dating lives are rooted in their mind because every belief we build affects the way in which we see reality. And if you have negative beliefs about women, you've seen too many ratchet podcasts or you've been out at the club at 4 a.m. and just lost hope in humanity, guess what? Book number two is just for you. Book number two is The Alabaster Girl by Zan Perion. I wish we had a discount link, but we'll get there at some point. The reason I love this book is Zan has very positive beliefs around women. Some might call him a romantic, some might call him a poet, some might call him delusional, but in a good way. And if you're someone who doesn't truly believe there's trustworthy people out there, there's women who are kind, compassionate, very sweet, and absolutely incredible who are willing to share life that you want to share with them, this is a great book to read. The way I recommend reading this book is actually a few pages daily. So treat this almost as like a self-hypnosis. You're reading this book, you're getting these positive beliefs about women. One of the ways in which Zan talks about this topic is treating meeting people almost as an art form and recognizing the beauty in others. And what I've found is when you're able to recognize the beauty in meeting strangers, whether that's women or people you want to socialize with, you tap into a different energetic space. You come into it with that energy of warmth and love. So what you can do is to actually read this book in the mornings or read it before you go out to socialize. And the words that you read, you can carry them with you as you're meeting women so that you're not the guy who's carrying toxic beliefs like women won't want me because I'm not tall enough, although there are some women who pay attention to that. Not all women care about your height or how you look. So I love this book because it gives such a pure experience of meeting people and highlights so much into the pureness of woman's heart that it almost brainwashes you to think at some level women are angels, which brings me to the con of this book. You don't want to expose yourself too much to this book to the point where you idolize women. They're still people, they still do people things. So you want to balance this perspective out with also going out and approaching people. 
So the ideal person who should read this book is someone who may feel a bit jaded by the world these days, jaded by OnlyFans and just the dating apps and has lost a bit of faith in the dating scene. If that's you, read this book and it will give you a very positive outlook, which then you can carry to your conversations with people. On to book number three. This is another book about building the right beliefs and specifically picking the right reality because the truth is according to reality transurfing, every reality is possible. And a lot of men believe that the reality in which they are attractive to their ideal type of woman is something they have to just fight for and create. And there is some truth to that. You know, if you're just at your home, you're not socializing much, you're not going out there and taking chances to meet people, you do need to get out of your house so that you can meet people. However, there's a way in which you can make reality work with you. And the reason I love this book is it almost makes a very scientific, rational case in terms of the existence of different levels of realities and how you can pick the one you want. And in a way, if you're very analytical and engineering minded, that explanation helps you see you can truly create the life that you want to create. And don't get me wrong, at the beginning, I was very skeptical of this, right? I was very skeptical with this book and the idea that, oh yeah, this book tells me that I can transurf into whatever reality I want. And then I went on Amazon and I saw this book was $64 and I thought to myself, who can sell me a book for $64? That's quite expensive. And then I thought, what if this guy's reality transurfing me to buy this book at this price? So I got caught up in the curiosity and decided to buy the book so that you don't waste your time. But although this book is quite expensive, it is actually five books in one. And I do recommend going through it yourself because it talks a lot about, you know, practices you can do such as really visualizing the thing you want in your life and then connecting your intention with it. So if you're like, if you're at a point where you've read models, right, you've got the strategic understanding of how to meet women and then you combine that with the positive beliefs from the alabaster girl and then you add this bad boy, it's like adding a nitro to your car, which a lot of people in Texas unnecessarily do, but that's a topic for another time. So you want to read this book to understand how much control you have energy-wise when you're speaking to people as well, because there's a strategic level to conversations in which you want to have the right plan, you want to make sure you're saying the right things and you're being playful in a respectful way and not necessarily in a calibrated way or in an uncalibrated way. However, you also want to understand your words carry energy. And what it talks about in this book is your actions also carry an energy. And a lot of men approach women with the energy of neediness and intensity. And what that does, it actually closes off opportunities for women to want to meet you. Because if a woman's feeling uncomfortable around you and she can kind of feel that you're talking to her because you want something and not necessarily because you're curious about her, then that's going to make her a lot more close off to the opportunity to meet you. So this book gives a very different energetic understanding of how to create your ideal reality. And speaking to women, building the dating life you want is also a version of creating that reality. So I recommend this for people who have had some experience with dating, who are having healthier beliefs with women. If you want to explore a more energetic way to converse and to communicate authentically with people, this will be a game changer. I'm definitely going to reread this again. And actually, me and my girlfriend are reading this book, which is why we have this tiny little pen right there. But on to number four. This book is an absolute game changer. Integral Relationships, a manual for men. The reason I love this book is it has a very good map when it comes to your compatibility with someone. So it goes into personality types, value developments, hobbies, different attachment styles, and how when you meet someone, 
you can kind of assess how compatible you are at different levels. So what I've learned from this book in terms of having a clear map of especially how you can pick the right person for a long-term relationship has allowed me to pick the right person for myself. And one of the biggest problems men face, even if you are skilled at meeting people, the other part of this journey is picking the right person. So even if you build your own charisma and social freedom and your ability to be empathetic and take leadership, if you don't know how to pick the right person, then you will still experience a lot of suffering. And what this book allows you to do is give you a perspective, a map in which you can look at this and you can objectively go, I might be having some feelings for this person, but how compatible would be our relationship so that you make a wise decision around who you want to be with. The con of this book is honestly, sometimes it can be a bit dry. So this is not the type of book you should read if you had zero dating experience. This is for people who have gone through the other resources, watched some of the videos on the channel, and then wanted a very advanced understanding of dating as a whole. So I recommend this book for you. Now, the last book is not in the shelf because it's not traditionally a book. So in that sense, I may have surprised you there, but it's still something that you can read. And what you want to be reading is the situation itself. A lot of guys read these books and, you know, they read one line from one author that says, oh, if woman like you, she needs to play with her hair after like five seconds. And then if she doesn't, then the guy goes like, oh my God, she's not interested. What's happening? Error, error. And then just leaves the conversation. So just like you're reading these books and gaining this knowledge, you want to be able to trust yourself to read the situation and learn from your own experience. You know, people wrote these books based on their experiences and there's so much validity in your experience as well. So understand it's important to find the right resources, which is why I'm creating these videos for you guys and giving you this list. But having a map of how something works does not necessarily mean you understand every situation. You know, if I was road tripping around the United States and I had a map of the United States, unless I actually went to that city or that town, I don't actually know how that town looks like. And a lot of guys read these books and they go into a situation and they feel like whatever this book says has to be true. However, women react on different ways based on their cultures, their upbringing, their personality type. So the fifth book, which is not a book you should read, is the situation. The woman in front of you, how you're feeling, how she's feeling. So you want to combine the intellectual knowledge with your own experience and the pros of this is you become a lot more of a calibrated person and you also build an ability to free flow in this situation because sometimes what you may feel from the situation might go against something I've said or what these books said and in that sense you don't want to be a prisoner to what someone says you want to also treat this Treat this journey and treat this social experience almost as an art form where you're able to make mistakes. And a lot of people think they cannot make mistakes and it's completely fine to make mistakes here and there. So make sure you're reading the situation as well. The cons of this is it can be difficult to do and that's where sometimes people decide to work with a coach. But these are my five books. So just to recap, models for you if you're just getting started and you're looking for a strategy second one alabaster girl best for you if you want to move towards healthier beliefs towards women third one reality transurfing honestly i think everyone including my grandma should read this book fourth one is integral relationships this is how you find how to pick the right person and create a joint map of reality if you want long-term relationship that's genuine, intimate, and authentic. 
you're looking for a wife, please read this book before you get married. And then fifth, always read the situation and connect what you've seen in these books, in these videos, onto your own experience. So hopefully that helped you out. But here's the thing. If you don't know how to start a conversation with a woman you're interested in, then none of this is helpful. So check out this video where I talk about exactly how to do that.